up some thrifted pieces and we are going to dupe them into some high-end decor. We are gonna save ourselves so much money. You're gonna be stunned when you see the total amount that we saved. I'm also gonna be doing some really cool and unique techniques on these pieces. So let's start with our first item. I found this at a thrift store. It is a lovely brown urn. It's chipped in some places. It's dirty, it's dusty, and the color is way too dark. But I love the size and the shape and the detailing on it is beautiful. Our inspiration piece is from Distinctive Decor. What I liked about this piece was the marbling that was on it. We're gonna be using this as an inspiration piece. We are, however, going to be putting a unique spin on ours since the shapes aren't identical. Another thing that is not identical is the price. This piece from Distinctive Decor is $209. And that's just too much for me to pay, so we're going to do it ourselves. The first thing we need to do is wash it really good, and then now I took it outside. We're gonna spray paint it in some white gloss or stellium spray paint. We want it to be neutral, so we're painting it white. Once it was completely painted, I let it dry for one hour. Hydro dipping is one of my favorite techniques because you always get a one of a kind, unique piece. That's what we're going to be doing in order to get the marbling on our urn. So what I did was I got a big plastic storage container and I lined it with a contractor's garbage bag. Then I filled it up almost to the top with water. Then I selected three spray paints. I chose a white, a gold and a silver. What I do with my paint is I alternate spraying it in the water. I started with the white, then moved on to the gold and the silver, and I just alternated these paint colors, creating a bullseye in the water. You can see as we do this technique that it begins to make a marble design. Once I had enough paint in my water, I took my urn and I dipped it into the water. Now this paint will just cling right to your piece. You can swirl it around just a little bit. Once the paint was on my urn, I pulled it out of the water. Then I repeated this process again. I did the paint, I just alternated the colors. Once I was satisfied with the amount of paint in the water, I dipped the second side of the urn into the paint and the water. Again, this paint just clings to the piece. I pulled it out. I love the way that it looks. It looks just like marble. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful technique. There's no way I could have gotten this design style by painting it myself. This hydro dipping technique makes this urn look just like it's marble. It's high end and classy. Now at this point, you're gonna let this dry for several hours. And what I'm gonna do with mine now that it's dry is I'm going to add some flowers to it. I just got a few bunches of peonies. I bent the stems and I just placed them inside of my urn to finish off the look. a side-by-side -side comparison, our inspiration piece and our thrifted piece. I think they look so similar. Honestly, I like mine better because number one, I love the shape of this urn. It's so unique and different, but the marbling on it just exceeded my expectations. Now let's talk about what we've all been waiting for and that is to find out the cost of my urn. My piece from the thrift store was only $5.99. What a steal, it was a no brainer. Now I am going to estimate that I spent about $3 on the paint. So in total, I spent $9 to dupe this urn. That's a savings of $200. I like that. I'll save that all day long and look at how beautiful this piece ended up. This was a fantastic dupe. I love it. I'm going to be able to use this in so many projects and so many decor styles in so many designs. I'm really excited that we duped this. Our next thrifted dupe 
is going to be this mustard yellow vase. It's bulbous, it's got brown around the top and brown streaks down the bottom. You guys, this is, it's not a looker. It's not a looker. But we are going to change it into something beautiful. Now let me show you the inspiration piece that we are going to be duping. This piece is from Joss and Maine. The price of this is $288 and we can definitely do better. So we're gonna start off with washing this. I don't know what's on it. I don't know how long it's been at the thrift store. So we're gonna get that dust and the grime off and start off with a clean and shiny piece. Now that it's nice and clean, I took it outside and I'm going to spray paint it in some white gloss or stoleum spray paint. I made sure that it was completely covered in this spray paint and then I let it dry for 30 minutes. Then I came back and I did a second coat of this paint. I sprayed it again just to make sure that it was completely white so you couldn't see any of that yellow mustard or brown coming through. Once it was fully coated in the paint, I let it dry for several hours. It already looks a hundred times better, don't you think? Okay, well to get our raised dots on this face, we are again going to be using a very unique technique. What I'm gonna do is get some hot glue and a silicone mold. I'm going to put some hot glue into these silicone molds. I'm going to fill these molds about halfway with this glue. Once they were all filled up, I let the hot glue cool down and solidify back into a solid. And now I can just pop them right out of the molds. They just came flying out. No problem, they just slid out of these molds and now I have my semicircles that I can place on my base. The way I'm going to attach these semicircles to my base is again with the hot glue. I'm just gonna add some hot glue to the back of these semicircles and then I'm going to place them equidistant around this base. Otherwise, I needed to now blend the hot glue in with the white on the base. So that's an easy fix. I took it outside and I gave it one final coat in this white gloss Rustoleum spray paint. Now the base and the hot glue dots are all one color. I love the way this face looks. It's neutral, it's classy, it will go with so many styles and it does have a bit of a modern touch to it. It's come a long way since we found it at the thrift store. Now I'm going to create a tape grid over the top and place in some Chinese lanterns and some dogwood branches. Spring is coming up, so I thought that this would be a great floral to put inside this vase right now. Now let's go over the cost of how much my vase cost from the thrift store. It was only $3.99. That's a steal. I'm going to estimate that I spent about $3 on the spray paint and about $2 on the hot glue, which brings our total to $9. Now that's a $279 savings over our inspiration piece. That's a great deal. And now I have this beautiful piece that I can use for this springtime. glass jars all the time in my thrift store. I found one that I loved the other day, so I scooped it up. We're going to do something to this glass jar that I've never done to a glass jar before. We're going to turn it into a candle. Now, here's my inspiration piece. It is from Horchow. I love their website. They have such classy things on their website. This candle is beautiful. I love the Greek key design on it. What I do not love is the price of $315. Yikes, that is far too much for me to pay for a candle. So we are going to mimic it almost identically. So what I'm gonna do with my jar, first of all, is I'm going to spray paint it white. This white gloss rust spray paint has been used in all of my projects today. I love it. I took my jar outside and I sprayed it in this paint. 
I made sure that it was completely covered in this paint and then I let it dry for one hour. Now in order to mimic this Greek key design, what I did was I just had to create my own design. So I did it so it would look almost identical to my inspiration piece. Now, if you like this design, you can have it. I will leave a link to this free printable in my description box. What you can do is that you can mod podge it onto a piece instead of do what I'm gonna do, which is to use some vinyl. Now, I got some Cricut vinyl and my Cricut maker. I cut it out and then I placed it on the center of my jar. Then I got a vinyl circle and I placed that on the rim of the lid. Since this is a candle, we need to put some wax inside of our jar. Now I've done this technique in the past and it's so easy, it's so simple, it's so cheap. All you need to do is head on over to Dollar Tree and pick up a couple of candles. I needed three. What I'm gonna do with my candles is we are going to melt them down into a liquid. To do this, you just need a big pot, fill it up with water, bring it up to about a low boil or a simmer, and then place your candles right inside the hot water. It's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to turn this wax into a liquid. Once it was liquefied, I pulled out the wicks then I took those wicks and I wrapped them around a wooden skewer and I placed it inside of my glass jar. Now you're going to want to use a lot of caution because <laughs> this wax is raging hot. So make sure that you have some hot pads, grab those candles out of the boiling water and then dump that wax right into your container. I'm happy that I got three of them because I used all three of these candles. Since our inspiration piece is scented, I decided that I was going to scent mine too. All I did was I got some essential oils. This is an orange scented essential oil. It smells so good. I added several drops to the wax. And at this point I am finished. All I needed to do is let this liquid wax turn back into a solid, which took a couple of hours. Once the wax was solid, I took the wicks off of the wooden skewer and I snipped them down to size. So far, so good, right? Now, the only thing that we need to do now is add the gold accents on our jar. So I got some blue painter's tape and I taped off the top knob on the lid. Then I got some gold rub and buff and a rag. And I just put this rub and buff all over the knob on the jar lid. Once that was done, I got some more rub and buff and I put it around the lip on the actual jar container itself. And then finally I added some rub and buff to the perimeter of the lid right on the bottom of it. You don't have to wait very long for this rub and buff to dry, like only a couple minutes. So after a few minutes, I was able to remove the blue painter's tape and now we have our thrifted dupe candle. This is almost an identical match to our inspiration piece from Hor Chow. But what's not identical is our pricing. I purchased this thrifted jar for $1.99. Great, great price. We'll say that we spent a dollar on the spray paint, $2 on the vinyl, a quarter on the rub and buff, and we spent $3.75 at the Dollar Tree to pick up our candles. So in total, it's going to cost me $9 to create our thrifted dupe candle. That's a savings of $306 over our inspiration piece. I'll take that all day. Our 
our next dupe, we are actually not going to do anything to at all. We're just going to leave it alone. This is just going to be an example of how you can find some treasures at your thrift store and you can find out that they look almost identical to pieces that are so expensive. So let me show you what I got. These plates right here, I got from the thrift store. They were $1.99 a piece. These are Lennox plates. They are so pretty. The detail around the rim is gorgeous. When I was on the Horde Chow website browsing, I saw that they had some Versace plates that looked pretty similar to these. Now these plates on the Horde Chow website were $165 a piece. So if you got two, that would be $330. I spent $4 to get mine. You guys, that's such a deal. And I think they're equally as beautiful. Just because you don't want to DIY or just because you don't feel like you can DIY, you can still find some treasures at your thrift store. By just rummaging through the aisles, I found some plates and I am able to save $326 over our inspiration piece, these Versace plates from the Horchow website. Great deal. I love these plates. They're going to be beautiful in my kitchen. Okay, you guys, we're done with all of our dupes. And now it's time to find out how much I saved by duping our pieces. We saved $1,111. Isn't that awesome? Plus all those ones, that's a lucky number for me. So we are lucky, we are blessed, we saved so much money and we got some beautiful decor pieces by duping these ourselves. We used some unique techniques and we got some one of a kind pieces. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like it, make sure that you subscribe. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.